In this video, we're going to discuss circular permutations and we're going to attempt to come up with the formula for the number of circular permutations. The question says, how many circular permutations are there of n distinct objects? So let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So first, let's just talk about what a circular permutation is. Let's just say we have three objects, or four. Let's say we have four. So here's object A, object B, object C, object D. They're all distinct. And so this would be a circular permutation, an arrangement in a circle of four distinct objects. That's, that's what we're looking at here. So uh, a different uh, circular permutation would be A, uh, C, B, D. These, these, these would be different. Okay, these are different, different circular permutations. But, uh, and, th and the reason they're different is because if you look at A and you look at the corresponding objects to the left and to the right, well, these are the same, but to the right you have different objects, so that makes them different. In order for them to be the same, given any object, uh, the other permutation has to have um, the same objects to the left uh, and the right as, as the other one. For example, if we take this one and we shift everyone to the right by one, so A comes over here, B comes down here, C comes up here, and then D comes up here, these are the same. Okay, these are the same circular permutation, right? Because basically you've just taken everyone or every person, pretend they're sitting in, in chairs, and then pretend they're people, and everyone just shifts over one chair to the right. So A goes here, B goes here, C goes here, and then um, D goes here, right? Okay, very good. So we have n objects. So how, can, how, can, how many ways can we do it for n objects? So here's the idea. We're gonna fix an object. And let's say we fix an object here. That's fixed. So what about the other positions? So we fixed an object. We have a position here, 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 a position here. So if we fixed an object and we start with n, we started with n, there's n minus one choices for what goes here, n minus one choices two for what goes here, right? Because if you've already taken an object out and you start with n, you have n minus one objects left. So there's n minus one ways to choose what goes in this position. But now you've taken two objects out so there's n minus two ways to choose what goes in this position. But now um, you've taken three objects out, so there's n minus three ways left here, et cetera, all the way down to three to one. And by the multiplication rule, you just multiply all these, and you get n minus one times n minus two times n minus three times dot, 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 times three to one. This yields the familiar formula, n minus one factorial. So the, there's n minus one factorial arrangements or permutations of n distinct objects. So hopefully this has helped you understand circular permutations uh, a little bit better. So yeah, good luck to you.